For those who love meatier plant-based meals, these TBP meatless bowls can truly be a game changer. They are easy to prepare and though they don't taste like meat, they are juicy and tender with the robust appeal you would expect to find in a meat bowl. This is the second TBP, also known as textured vegetable protein recipe in a row on the channel, simply because it was this very recipe that inspired the creation of the vegan tuna mayonnaise salad that we shared previously. I'm going to start by rehydrating the TVP or soya chunks. First, cover the soya chunks completely with some hot water. Let them sit for about 10 minutes until they are rehydrated and soft. You may also use TVP granules instead of chunks in this recipe. In this case, rehydrate with equal parts of water or according to the packet instructions. I do prefer using the chunks however, as they yield a nicer, meatier texture. It just has that little extra bite to it that makes all the difference. While the TVP is soaking, chop the onions and garlic and set them aside. You can also omit these in this recipe if you do not consume them. I very often make these TVP meatballs without onions and garlic and they are just as tasty. When the soya chunks are rehydrated, they will be soft and spongy. Squeeze out the excess water from them. Place a small portion of the chunks in a jug for hand blending. Blitz them in small batches with the hand blender until they are flaky. Do not mash them completely. Repeat until all the chunks have been minced. You can also pulse them in a food processor. Set them aside for now. In a skillet, heat the coconut oil on medium-high temperature. Then add the onions and garlic if you're using them. Sauté until translucent. This should take about 5 minutes. Next add the spices, cumin, coriander, paprika and a pinch of nutmeg. Sauté for about 30 seconds to release the aroma. Now add in the minced TVP. Stir and sauté for 2-3 to three minutes. If you're not using onions and garlic, add the minced TVP together with the spices at the same time. Then toss and sauté for about 3 minutes. Sautéing the spices with the minced soya seals the flavors better and also firms up the texture. The combination of spices is just right to make these meatballs a treat on their own while keeping it subtle enough for them to be doused in your favorite sauces. Remove from the heat, place the mixture in a large mixing bowl and allow to cool. Dilute the marmite in the soy sauce. Marmite is our secret ingredient in this recipe. If you're new to Marmite, it's a salty, yeasty, tasty, savory spread. It's a very distinctive taste, delivers the rich flavor and delightful aroma that gives these meatballs a deep, profound savor. If you're not too fond of Marmite as a spread on toast or bread, then adding it to veggie meatballs and burgers will work wonders. Once the TVP mixture is cool enough to handle, add in the Marmite and soy sauce mixture. Add salt to taste if required. Next add the potato starch or corn starch and brown rice flour or all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. 
Go in with your hand and mix thoroughly. Start to make balls that are a little smaller than a ping pong ball. The ball should stick and hold together well. If it feels dry and crumbly, add a little water and some more flour. Form the balls by applying a little bit of pressure. Then dip the ball in some rice flour and coat it all over. This will ensure that the ball does not fall apart when cooked. If you wish, at this stage you can freeze these balls for later use. Or you can proceed to pan frying or baking them. If you want to bake them, just place them on a baking tray and spray with some cooking oil. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. Turn them on the other side halfway through. To pan fry them, heat about 2 tablespoons of coconut or cooking oil in a skillet on medium-high temperature. Wait for the oil to become hot, then drop in the balls. Do not overcrowd the pan. Fry in batches if you need to. Toss the balls on all sides every now and then for even frying. Once all sides are seared, reduce the heat slightly so that the inside of the balls is thoroughly cooked. Remove when lightly crispy on all sides and drain on absorbent paper. You can freeze these meatballs after they have been cooked. They would just need to be submerged in your favorite sauces afterward for easy weekday dinners. The classic spaghetti and meatballs make a simple tasty meal and one of the best use for these meatless balls. You can add them to hearty soups or even in curries. They also make excellent fillings in soft wraps or crusty baguettes for a handy packed lunch. You can find the printable recipe for these TVP meatballs as well as the simple tomato sauce on our website. If you're making them, don't forget to tag us on social media. We'd love to find out how you're using them in your meals. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more recipes. You can also join our mailing list and we will send you the latest recipes from the blog directly in your inbox. I'll see you very soon for another video. Cheers and bye!